So these all we can include in the rules and based on that we can adjust the pricing. So there is no error system in the car. Then the price is a bit lower. So this type of adjustment is... Okay, so now we are going to talk about, you know, a really interesting topic that is the discount that we all love, you know, whenever we are uh, purchasing anything or, you know, anyone, anyone loves discount. Okay, so we are going to first see what are volume discounts, what are manual discounts in the next couple of minutes. Okay, so before going uh, deeper into the discounts, we have to learn, you know, for that the price adjustment schedules. So we have already seen the pricing procedure we have already seen what is the price book what is the price book entry is how it works behind the scene and now we are going to learn about the price adjustment schedule okay so what is price adjustment schedule uh, think of it like a rule book that tells the source when to change the price instead of doing manual math every time you set rules and sales force adjust the price automatically so it's kind of a rule which you are setting behind the scene and based on that whenever customer uh, changes anything or purchase anything if that satisfy the rules it will give the adjustment it will do the adjustment automatically so how the rules are working so we can you know set the rules based on uh, several topics for example how many items the customer buys okay what features or attributes they are choosing special timing like the seasonal offer or you know any any sale time when when they are purchasing the offer or purchasing the things okay and also we can check like whether they buy a bundle of products or a single products okay so these all we can include in the rules and based on that we can adjust the pricing so it is uh, done like for every time you don't have to do it manually you have to just set the rules once and salesforce does the boarding map forever Okay, so you don't have to take any headache about that. So next, you know, we are going to see how many types of price adjustment schedules are there. Okay, so there are mainly three simple types that Salesforce has already provided. So quickly, I'm clicking on price adjustment schedules. I am going to the all price adjustment schedules. Okay, so here you can see there are three price adjustment schedules that Salesforce provides us. Okay, you can create your own schedules based on the business logic that's a different part that's always the possibilities but here salesforce are providing three what are those first one is the price adjustment tires okay standard price adjustment tire so what is this this is for the quantity based pricing or you can say the volume based pricing so you can you can always see like for more than two item purchase we will get an extra discount so this is kind of that kind of thing if you buy more it will you will get more discount for example if you buy suppose one item you will about to get a discount of 10 percent but instead of one item if you buy five items the same five items then you will get a 20 percent discount so this is how the volume based discount or the price adjustment tire works now the second type is the attribute based adjustment so the in in this adjustment the price will change based on the product features so for example when we are going to purchase a car a vehicle then we can see for the color you can have the price fluctuation okay so for the premium color you have the higher price for you know the standard color you have the lower price also for some of the extra features like if you have have the ADA system there then you will get a higher price or if there is no ADA system in the car then the price is a bit lower so this type of adjustment is called at the attribute based adjustment so here you can see the option this is the attribute based adjustment so here the price is based on the attribute okay so we are going to have a look in detail look for each and every types that are present here and the last one is the bundle based adjustment so you can always see in the in the for example in the amazon okay so there if you want to purchase a laptop then what you can see the, you can see a laptop price but after the product if you scroll a bit up you can see a bundle offer if you purchase the laptop if you purchase a mouse then you will get an extra discount based on the bundle so these are called the bundle based discount okay 